You know how all the Marvel movies are part of the Marvel Universe? I think every Vince Vaughn movie is part of the Vince Vaughniverse. In which Vince Vaughn plays the same character, but he gets a new alias and a new identity because of that guy from Breaking Bad, because Vince Vaughn undeniably plays the same character in everything. The Vince Vaughniverse, it's real. Delivery Man. So Delivery Man's a story starring Vince Vaughn. This guy donated a lot of sperm back in the 90s. And now it turns out he has about 533 kids roaming around out there and all of them want to know who is my father. And because of a legal dispute, they might be entitled to find out who, might not, but hey, that's the point of the movie. A movie that's enjoyable and has a bit of heart to it. Yeah, like I said, Vince Vaughn is the same character in this movie as he was in Dodgeball, as he was in the internship. It's Vince Vaughn. It's Vince Vaughn playing Vince Vaughn. But it turns out in this movie, he donated a lot of sperm and he got a lot of money for it in the 90s, which I thought was bullshit. We live in a world where you can get paid for rubbing one out. That is bullshit. I've been doing that for free for years. But Vince Vaughn can't just come out and expose himself and go, hey, I'm me, because you, you never know. Maybe these kids want money. By kids, I mean 17 and 19 years old. That's, that's how old these kids are. So what he does is he has a packet of the kids who want to find out who he is, and he ultimately, he tells them, he follows them around, he finds out about their lives, and he plays some guardian angel type role, you know? He helps them out where he can. Like, if one of his kids gets a flat tire, he'll be the guy who rolls up right by him like, hey, I got a spare tire here, just helping you out. And so he starts bonding with these people, which is optimal. Any father out there will be like, if I could do it, that's how I'd do it. But a couple of times in the movie, the movie gets real, like dramatic, not in a shitty way, in actually a really good way. You step back for a second, you're like, whoa, I didn't expect that from a movie from the Vince Vaughniverse. Good job, movie, well played. There are a couple of plot lines in the movie I was like, why is that in there? Like one of his kids, he's kind of a bad egg, he's a weirdo, you can all, he's a psycho, he's a psycho. Feel bad for him all you want, but in the end, you really want to go and hang out with this guy, you don't. He's like, hang out with me or I'm gonna expose you. And so he just starts creeping on Vince Vaughn and he's like, no, we're gonna hang out, we're gonna go to the park, you're gonna take me to your basketball game. So immediately he's this douchebag bad egg who's intruding on Vince Vaughn's life and he's intruding on the entire movie. You're watching him, you're like, please go away so I can get back to enjoying this. We had a nice heartfelt character growth bonding type movie. We didn't need the weirdo weighing the whole thing down. Funny thing though, you get your wish, he goes away. You never see him for the rest of the movie. What happened to him? I don't know. You never know. The movie doesn't tell you and at that point you feel like the movie wasted your time. Another thing is Vince Vaughn owes a lot of money to a lot of people. You want to establish this because he needs to have financial problems. He needs to be in a bad spot. I get it. Plot lines. But then the mob starts coming. They're like, we want our money. And then that stops happening and you're like, okay, well let's that was in the movie, I guess. Because really, if you want to put Vince Vaughn in a bad financial spot where he needs a lot of money, just make his father's business go under. This movie's actually a remake. It's based on another movie. I haven't seen the movie, but maybe these mobsters and the weirdo, they were in the movie. And so they have to put him in this movie. Otherwise, it's not a remake. It's not true to form. I'm just saying these weird off-the-cuff side stories that happen a couple times and you never see him again, they just, they just feel out of place. In the end, Delivery Man was funny. It was enjoyable. It had a surprising amount of heart. Vince Vaughn does play the same character he plays in everything. I actually enjoyed this one more than I thought I was gonna enjoy it. I was like, okay, I've seen all the Vince Vaughn movies at this point. Show me something new. I'm not saying the entire thing was new. I'm saying the whole thing was enjoyable. So I'm gonna say, Delivery Man is a good time. No alcohol required. The Vince Vaughniverse strikes again. All right, so your favorite and least favorite Vince Vaughn movies. I think he has made enough to, we can assess something like this. Whatever they are, comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.